Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to another uh, edition of my blog series, Hello World with Maya. As I said, I have some videos coming up regarding Chicago and other footage, but unfortunately you're going to have to wait until tomorrow morning for you to find out how my travels went from uh, experiences inside Hartsville Jackson International Airport to the flight itself, to uh, the trip to Chicago. Um, and then I also have a lot of uh, videos I need to edit because I'm behind on those. I think you're gonna wanna check those out because those are really great. Of course, I rented a uh, camera from a Georgia State University on some of that. So please be sure to check those out as well. At any rate, uh, what I wanted to do is uh, do a recap. So yesterday I had uh, posted a video on input in regards to a uh, case that is in the news. Uh, it's about a 24-year-old named DP who is autistic and she had gone through a really traumatic experience with some distant cousins that didn't understand and didn't want to understand her. The only thing they cared about was taking advantage of her because uh, she was, quote, vulnerable. And of course, they said mean things to her. They called her the R word. They took away her civil rights by uh, revoking her IDs and her cell phone and her computer so she couldn't, quote, snitch on them. And I know that eventually somebody finally caught uh, this family for what they did. And it started when a neighbor saw this girl in a cage and she looked like she was malnourished. So she dialed 911 and a police officer came. And of course, they got taken into custody. They got life in prison, thank goodness. And then her on the other hand, she ended up in a, a state health facility getting all the treatment that she needed. And my thoughts on the matter are, okay, she had an ID, she had a cell phone, she had all these things that were taken away from her. So my question is, does she even get a voice in all this? Does she even have a right to stand trial and testify for what, uh, what these people did to her? Well, personally, she has civil rights that were taken away from her. And personally, if she was smart enough to escape, if they were smart enough to know that she would snitch on them, then yes, I believe that uh, this young adult on the spectrum has every right and every potential to uh, give an account of what happened. She has every right to testify that she was abused. She has every right to share her story. She has every right to share that she has rights like everybody else. I mean, everybody else is getting to talk, but so far we have uh, no voice from DP and that's the voice that we need to hear. I mean, we're hearing from neighbors, we're hearing from news stories, we're hearing from authorities, but nothing from this DP. <laughs> I mean, I heard through uh, these news articles that uh, she did mouth off, according to uh, the testimony of, uh, of the defendants who were abusive to her, that took her money and abused her. They said that she mouthed off, and they boasted about how every time she mouthed off, they would withhold food from her. And so, again, this young woman had a voice, and it was taken from her. And... I, for one, am going to fight for her to, to speak her mind. And I'm going to fight for her to share her voice. And I hope she does. And I hope this young woman becomes a self-advocate for others like herself that are in similar situations. And I hope she goes beyond being on Social Security. I hope she goes beyond uh, living under somebody's care, somebody's guardianship. I hope she grows to be a very independent woman and that she overcomes the hell that she had to face. So 
bottom line here is that disability rights are civil rights, and that's something that we at the Center for Leadership and Disability, where I work, always put emphasis on. I mean, we marched in the um, official uh, Martin Luther King Day parade on a couple times, and we've gotten together with another organization that helps people with disabilities. I don't want to give that out at the moment, but one of the things that we shout is that disability rights are civil rights. And in this case, these are her civil rights. So anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to share me on social media. Again, be sure to also share my blogs on, uh, on social media and with anybody that you know and also be sure to check out these articles below because it gives you a better understanding and a better idea of the hell that DP had to go through. Uh, what else do I do? I have a series of written blogs on wordpress.com and these are scholarly and practical application as well as their reviews for Future Horizons which is a publishing company that not only writes and publishes Temple Grandin's works but also uh, publishes books related to autism and I'm reviewing a lot of their content right now, which is really fun. So please be sure to check those out under Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. That's Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. And then uh, I talk about my experiences of living on the spectrum, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, I like to provide tips and advice to family members, friends, peers, mentors, anybody on the spectrum, and you get the idea. And finally, I will talk about things that I'm passionate about. But if you want to know more about what happened, please be sure to click in the links below and share these on social media and share these with your teachers. Share these with that, your local health professionals. And if you're in Louisiana and you work with DP, I would fight for her as much as possible. Thanks. Bye.